guys and welcome back to another encourage tutorial today what we're going to be doing is another one of those excuse me um, another one of those tutorials that the community votes for and this week will be on the naming station that I created uh, the textures and everything will be in the workspace download that you'll be able to grab if you want them and if we open it up we have a simple text field a button and a inventory slot so if we put a item in the inventory slot um, obviously this won't work because we need levels but we can give it a name I'll just uh, name it and it should give us a name here uh, it might be because we're in creative that it's allowing us to name things so as you can see we can name stacks of items we can name single blocks and we can name a whole entire block as well so that's basically how it all works we click the button it gets the input and it sets the name to the slot id so let's go in game or into amp crater and i'll show you how this all works so there are three parts to this particular tutorial there is a the gui the block and the name button so we'll start with the GUI and get that out of the way. So the first thing that we have is our actual text field. This is important. We need to remember this text field name. So it's the text input name. This is what's going to be used in your procedure when you're actually getting the text field input. And then we have our button, which is this one right here, our name button. And this goes to our procedure name button and then we have our inventory slot zero which is going to be important for later on so if we go into our block now what we need to do is set our textures all the other settings these are pretty much open to whatever you want for this page uh, this page you can set whatever you want the advanced page you can set whatever you want the tile entity needs to be enabled you need to select your GUI that you just created and you need one slot right down here you need to enable the right click action and you might want to set the leave the um, stack size to 64 and any other settings that you might want uh, after you've done that all you need to do is basically save this block and then we can move on to the procedure so taking a look at the procedure itself, there is only a couple different uh, elements to this particular uh, procedure itself. The first thing that we're doing is we're testing if uh, there is a number of items in the slot greater than zero. So if it's one or above in slot zero, then what we're doing is we're basically testing, we're going to be running the script. Uh, the other condition is the player has uh, XP levels e greater than or equal to or pardon me greater than zero which basically requires one level uh, for each time it's renamed so a level again is basically any number of experience so for example a bunch of experience orbs require is built up to make one level um, the amount of XP for example is the amount of the orbs that you collect so the level is going to be the one that we're subtracting so if you're level 39 or something like that then it'll be level 38 um, then what we're doing is we're removing the XP for the level minus one and then what we're doing is we're setting the display name of the provided and uh, item of the slot in the current open GUI and then we're setting the text to the uh, to basically create text with the the uh, color code F this basically prevents it from being italicized if you were to just basically go like this then it's going to be italicized because that's basically how the renaming thing works if you just set it to the ID code for the white text and then basically have it do that then it unitalicizes it and then what we're doing is we're just getting the the text field name as well so i'll show you how to build this right now 
the first thing that we need to do is we need to grab a if statement and we're going to go to flow control and do that and then we're going to drop that down right there we then need to go to logic grab a light blue operator with equal sign and then we're going to click on the operator uh, icon right in the middle and then we're going to go to and select and and then we're going to click right click on it and set external inputs so it's like this next what we need to do is go back to logic grab a dark blue operator and do the same thing with the, the button in the middle we're going to select it and go greater than which is just the little arrow kind of thing without the underline and then what we need to do is we are going to set this to zero we're going to duplicate that two times or one extra time so we can basically put that down here for our XP amount and then what we're going to do is we're going to go and go to the slot and GUI procedures. We're going to grab the get number of items from slot GUI zero, or pardon me, slot zero of the current open GUI. And then we're going to apply, place that down right here. It's already set for our slot ID, so we don't need to configure it. If you have multiple IDs in your GUI, then you want to set the ID for that particular slot. Uh, the next thing that we need to do is go to Entity Procedures and scroll down until we see the Get XP Level, which is somewhere in here. <laughs> There's a lot of um, particular ones in here. It's somewhere, I think it was somewhere near the top, was it? Maybe, no, pardon me, it's under Player Procedures, and then it's right at the top here. That's right. So we're going to place that down right here. It's get XP level of and then current entity. So that's our first condition that's out of the way. And now we need to go back to player procedures and scroll down until we see remove. And then there should be two types of remove XP. There is remove XP, which is the, uh, the orbs, basically the base value of how much you have for XP. And then there's the levels, which is the one that I'm basically going with. So I'm just removing one level per um, per time the item is renamed. So that's basically how that's set up. And then what we need to do is set the display name of the item. So we're going to go to item procedures and then we're going to scroll down until we see set display name of provided item stack to display name. We're going to grab that, place that down here. We're going to get rid of the provided item stack and we're going to move this out of the way for the last, the second part. The next thing we need to do is go to slot and GUI procedures and grab this particular block right here, the red one. And we're going to drop that right here. Again, if you have a different ID for your slot that you're basically doing, you want to make sure it's the same slot as this one right here. After that, we're going to go to text and create text width, and then we're going to drop that block right down here. We're then going to go and drop this block right here. And then we're, we're going to do, if you're on Windows, you're going to want to go and type in a character map, which looks like this, and then you're going to click on that. And you're going to select this sign right here and you're going to copy that and you're going to basically paste this in to the block here and they're going to set F for the white color code. And then the last thing we need to do is go to slot and GUI procedures and grab the get text inside text field. And then we're going to put our text field name or ID right here. So like so, and that's all there is to it. And if you, you want the procedures and the textures and all the other things as well as the workspace. I have it on my website for you guys to download if you want it. And outside of that, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.